face. I can just almost hear the words, be kind, be brief. <laughs> Sister was born right here in Peoria, and she attended the Academy of Our Lady Spalding Institute and was a member of St. Mark's Parish here in Peoria. And she earned her Bachelor of Business degree in accounting from Western Illinois University in Macomb in 1986. She entered our community two years later in July 1988 and took her perpetual vows February 11, 1996. With her background in accounting, Sister served in our finance and our accounting division at our then corporate office for our health care system beginning in 1991. And then she was appointed to our board of directors of OSF Healthcare in January of 98 elected to our governing board, which is the highest board with reserve powers over our apostolic works, and office of treasurer for our congregation and the healthcare system in October 2000. And then in October 2006, appointed president of OSF Healthcare System. Now take a breath, and then I say all of which she continues to hold today. Wow. Sister also has served to the Catholic Diocese of Peoria as a member of their Finance Council since 1995. I could really sum up comments in regard to Sister in one succinct, but really most sincere statement. It's one sentence, and it's only seven words in length. Got it? You have, you have my attention? All right. Thank God he called you to us. God bless you, sir. I'm sure that many of you understand that it's it's not easy to be Christian today. Certainly not easy to be Christian Catholic today. And to stand strong for those fundamental principles of respect for all human life and all of its implications in our culture today as well as navigate all the changes that we're facing now in health care reform, while at the same time keeping our religious community founded solidly on our roots and our heritage, keeping it intact, and exercising effective governance over our entire integrated health care system that seems to grow, doesn't it, Bishop, every year. And with now over 15,000 employees that God called to join our sisters in this labor of love. Yes, I fully understand why Sister did bring Sister Diane Reed to our community and entrusted great responsibilities to her. And I thank God for her presence and thank her for her religious consecration, most of all, and her deep commitment to love and serve God and pour her life out night after night in the service of the church and his people. Sister, thank you for 25 years and all the lives that your wonderful good work has impacted. God bless you. And sister, if you'd like to say a few words. Can I be shorter than you? Yeah, you've already been introduced to my father, and then over on the right-hand side, I have my oldest brother, Tom, and his oldest daughter, daughter Kelly, from Indianapolis with us. And also seated, also here is my youngest sister, Janet, and her family, her husband, Mark, and her five children, Luke, Amanda, Claire, Henry, and Penny, who is taking after her aunt, not being very obedient, I don't know where she's at. <laughs> So I'm also privileged to have with me my, my cousin, uh, Jim McGrew, and his wife, Ann, with us, and so we thank you for joining us. So I just wanted to thank everyone for coming, and I appreciate all your prayers and support throughout the, throughout the years. Thank you. Well, I'm certainly not going to stand here and talk about myself. <laughs> and with great trepidation, I now call to the mic Sister Agnes Joseph, and I'm going to say the same words to her, be kind, be brief. I'm your major superior. I guess if I have to be kind, it will be brief. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that's not true. I want to congratulate Sister Judith Ann on her 50 years in religious life. Sister was born in St. Genevieve, Missouri. She entered our community in 1964. Took her, her perpetual vows in 1970, celebrated her Silver Jubilee in 1990. Sister attended Northern Illinois University in DeKalb and received her Bachelor of Science degree in nursing there in 1972. She also received a Master of Arts degree in theology from St. John's University in New York City in 1977 and a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration and Management from Bradley University in 1982. Sister served as a nursing supervisor at St. James Hospital in Pontiac, Illinois from 1972 to 1973. From 1973 to 1982, she served as Director of Recruitment and Public Relations for our community, and from 1982 to 87, as Director of Formation for our community. She was appointed Treasurer of our community in 1987, and in 1989, she was appointed, so she was appointed Assistant Treasurer in 1987, and in 1989 was appointed treasurer of our community and of the OSF healthcare system. In 1989, Sister was asked to coordinate a ministry development program for OSF leadership and key management, a program that is now in its 26th year. Also in 1989, she was appointed to the board of directors of OSF healthcare system. She was elected to the governing board of our religious congregation in 1994. She served as president of the OSF healthcare system from 2000 through 2006, when she was elected major superior of our religious community, a position which she still holds today. I think that Sister Judith Ann will always be known and remembered by all of her sisters and all in our apostolate for her enthusiasm and encouragement. Her encouragement for every pro project she undertakes and her enthusiasm for every person she encounters. She truly lives her religious consecration. Sister, thank you for your 50 years of faithful service and for all the love you show to each and every one of us. May God bless you. your stripes. It was fairly brief. <laughs> and it was decently kind. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to offer some comments relative to my own family and introduce them to you because they came from quite a distance. And if you just put your hand in the air, that would be great. My brother Pat and his wife Kay came from Seattle, Washington. And my sister Cassie Marsh and her husband Dan came from St. Louis. And my brother Dr. Joe Duvall and his wife Carolyn and their daughter Sarah, who's no stranger to our house, from St. Louis. Sarah, put that paw up in the air. All right. And my brother Mark and his wife Jill came from Egan, Minnesota. That's something. And also there's so many lifetime, lifelong friends that came, the Cotners. They knew me when I was growing up in my high school years and came to one of my earlier ceremonies and so special to have them back with us, Jerry and Teresa Cotton. Also, I want to thank all of my friends and all of my OSF family members that have come today to really enjoy this day with me. And in so many ways, God has sure blessed me with your presence in my life. And you couldn't be more family to me than you already are. So I want to thank all of you. God bless you. Now we say the best to last. I want to congratulate Sister Mary Josephine for 60 years, 6 in religious life. She was born in Larva, Germany. And she left her family and her homeland and she sailed from Amsterdam to the United States, arriving November 12, 1954. 
A few days later, she formally entered our religious community. She took her perpetual vows on May 17, 1963, made her Silver Jubilee, 1980, her Golden, 2004. Now she celebrates 60 years in religious life and put it on the calendar, come back in 10 years for her 70. <laughs> Sister received her Bachelor of Science in Home Economics from the College of St. Teresa Winona, Minnesota, in 1962. She served as Assistant Superior here at our Mother House from 62 to 65. Then she entered our School of Nursing in Peoria and graduated with her uh, nursing cert diploma in 1968. And she also received certification in rehabilitation nursing that same year. Sister Josephine has really had the wonderful privilege of spending most of her religious life serving in nursing. That's a very sacred ministry and actually was the most original work that our early pioneer sisters did was at direct care of patients. And almost exclusively most of those years were at St. Francis Hospital now St. Francis Medical Center here in Peoria. She served as a staff nurse, clinical instructor for rehab nursing at our school, night supervisor, head nurse over medical unit, and then supervisor of our Forest Park Rehabilitation Center in Peoria. She was missioned to St. Anthony's in Rockford in 1986 and served in nursing for a year before being assigned our superior in our house in Galesburg. Not letting her age interfere with her love for direct patient contact, in 1989 we moved her into that wonderful role of patient representative, or I often say it's patient advocate. She was there for them. At St. Anthony's, where she remained until she retired only just September, this last September, 2013. In case you didn't realize that the word, I'm not even supposed to pronounce it because we sisters aren't even supposed to know what it means. R-E-T-I-R-E. -E. It's not in our vocabulary. However, retire is not really in our language as a sister, and so sister continued for quite a while after that official retirement date to return to St. Anthony's and to visit with staff and with patients and they dearly, dearly love that. Her warm smile, her gentle, reassuring voice, and her really God-inspired words have touched many, many hearts over many years. God truly does live in and through her. Sister, we thank God for bringing you to us and letting us keep you all these years. And thank you for 60 years in this wonderful service. God bless you. I just wanted to thank everybody that is here. I have my family, I still have a big family in Germany, but they couldn't really make it. My brothers and sisters are uh, still in uh, good shape, but not good enough to travel for eight hours. And so they are not here. But I have some wonderful friends that are here, some of them from Peoria, and some of them from Rockford. And I appreciate every one of them, and especially that they came to celebrate with us. Dr. Tillery and his wife, Father Renting, who has been our biggest supporter during our time in Rockport because he would always check on us and make sure that we were safe. And uh, Paula, the administrator of uh, St. Anthony Hospital, and her husband, Jai, Joanne from Rock, from uh, Peoria. She was one of our patients that survived a very, very bad accident. And, uh, Ida and uh, Mary Jo were my co-workers at St. Francis Hospital when I worked there, and they have been in contact ever since. God bless you all, and may he be with you and strengthen you and uh, keep you well, because when you get old, it isn't so, it isn't so pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sister. there, we're almost done. 
thank you, Bishop Jenke, and all the members of the clergy that were able to join us for this day. I'll tell you, your presence in our diocese and your presence for our sisters is so, so very important. What a priceless, priceless gift you bring us. And we pray for you each and every day. Your sacred ministry is a wonderful gift to us. Thank you. And I also want to recognize the choir members of Sam and Laura, put your hand in the air, our organist and our choir director, and the members of the choir, put your hands in the air. Then they do a wonderful job. And finally, I have to acknowledge all of our Mother House employees. They didn't uh, buy these centerpieces. We bought the flowers and our employees and sisters put them together. Then they do a beautiful job in the chapel. And now, following the grace after our meal, those of you who can remain with us, you can stay here in this room and visit or go back in that room that was just down from the main lobby or walk outside and enjoy the grounds. But at 2.30 p.m. back in this room will be an unbelievable coffee break. Hopefully you've got a little room left in your tummies for some cake and peanuts and mints and all kinds of special treats, punch and coffee. 2.30 back in this room. And I also say, teasingly, but I mean it most sincerely, anybody who's still under the roof at 6 p.m. will feed you for supper. <laughs> Just show up and, and we'll take good care of you. For my sisters, our prayers this evening and exposition of the Blessed Sacrament begins at 4.30 p.m. Okay? And then we'll have our evening meal back in our main dining room. Hey, Bishop Janky, would you like to offer a closing blessing, please? We give you thanks for all your benefits, almighty and merciful Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, Amen. and may the souls of the faithful departed, in the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, continue if you're not finished eating, or go back and get more or more wine, whatever. And enjoy yourself this afternoon. And again, coffee break at 2.30 here in this room. God